A lot of culture have a variation of pickled vegetables. And one of the more famous one, I believe everybody knows is kimchi, which you are commonly familiar with as red pickles, sour, tart, and a little bit spicy because of the gochujang and other various red peppers seasoning. But there's another variation of it, which is rare to see, uh, called white kimchi, which doesn't have gochujang, I believe, and it's generally not spicy. And uh, Taiwanese and Chinese culture does have a very similar version, which is basically pickled vegetable and is made in a very similar way, but with different vegetables. Today I'm making the uh, Taiwanese version, which basically just uses cabbage, carrots, and uh, some onions. And I'm mixing salt in it, which is a good way to break down the vegetable and get it really porous to soak in the uh, pickling solution. And you want to add more salt until everything is nicely covered. And you could go a little heavy handed if you want and make sure when you're mixing it and squeezing it to make sure it's nicely mixed in there. Uh, making the pickling solution, which basically is salt, sugar and water as the base, but I added a little of uh, Chinese cooking wine and a fish sauce to it as well. And I used hot water to help melt the sugar and cold water or room temperature water to cool it down so I don't wilt the cabbage so that way it can retain some of its crunchiness. If it's all wilted, it's not going to have much of its uh, crunchy texture. And I'm making two versions, one version using some Thai chili to make it spicy and one version without the chili. And I'm crushing it so that way the um, spiciness can help come out into the pickling solution. And I add a little garlic and I add some bay, uh, bay leaf to help flavor it up. And remember, this non-spicy version is just without the uh, Thai chili. That's all. Now, once this is all prepared and ready, give that uh, cabbage a good mix and pack it all in nice and tight. And then you add your um, pickling solution. Now, you can eat this in a couple hours and it'll carry some of the flavor already. But it's best to probably wait a little longer. And the longer you wait, the more flavor it develops. Well, thank you very much for watching this episode. Come back next week for a new one and enjoy.